In this particular video, I'm going to talk about sessions, sessions or session template. So session has session templates. Now session is basically a, an environment, I'd say, uh, which the customer service engineer will see as a part of uh, their uh, work resolution process. So when uh, a customer service agent receives a request from a uh, customer, then a screen opens uh, once it, once the agent accepts the request then that particular screen is technically a session you know now the sessions can have multiple components like a communication panel it can have an anchor tab it can have an additional tab which gets opened by default now all this information can be configured in the backend now let's first understand what exactly is session and what is session template now session template is a combination of attributes and application tab information that can be used while resolving a case. Session template defines the application to open as an anchor tab. Remember, there will be one anchor tab which will always remain open. And you can have additional tabs that can be opened and the default mode of communication panel. Now the session template type can be of type entity and generic. Every session has one application tab called as anchor tab. Okay, now this tab must remain. Okay, this is mandatory. This is by default. Session templates has agent scripts defined. So you can attach already existing global agent scripts to a session template. Okay. Session template as anchor tabs defined. You can configure which session template opens when a new session starts. Okay. Now you can't edit a system session template. There are out of the box session templates, which is available for various channels, like a case entity session, chat session, voice call session, custom messaging, line, SMS, Teams, Twitter, WeChat, WhatsApp, and all those things out of the box session templates are available. Now, if you are not happy with this, you can create one of your own and you can further customize it. Now, remember, you can't, you cannot configure the out of the box session template. It is all there. You just need to use it. It is in a read only format. Now, this is how the session template configuration works so in the workspaces if you go to session templates click on manage then you will be able to manage those session templates okay now uh, under a workspace you know if you have a specific uh, under advanced settings you will see a session section and you can go into that specific session and then you can further configure you can specify some information how you want uh, the communication panel, uh, session icon and anchor tab and all those things. Uh, and you can also uh, say configure under advanced setting. If you see here, if you click on edit, you can select the default template. Okay. And these are the set of templates which are available out of the box. Now, let me show you an action so if we go to workspaces under workspaces you will find session templates now here you can specify which session templates open when a new session starts i'll click on manage and i will be able to see all the session templates now i'm concerned with chat session i want to see how the chat session looks like so if i see the chat session default it says that this is the name this is a unique name type is generic now, remember this one, this is like a slug, you know, it has a customer name as a title, okay, of that chat session. Now you can name it anything, okay. Communication panel mode dot session icon, you can specify session icon, you can put a description of this and you are the owner of it, okay. Now here, you need to have one anchor tab. Now this is the first anchor tab which is defined and you can have additional anchor tab. But remember, if you see this system message, it says this is a system session template and can't be edited. Whatever default exists will exist. Like if you see here, agent scripts, you can add an existing agent script over here. 
you know, but you can't configure the general se section over here. Now, if you see in the agent script, if I add existing agent script, okay, I can add, um, let me see, which is missing this one. Okay, I can add this and this will get added over here and I can say save this. Now, agent scripts can be added to the existing session template, okay? And you can also set default agent script by building the expression over here, okay? Now, this is about default session template. But what if you are not happy with it? Then what you can do, let me go back and you can create a new session template, okay? You can create a different session template. Now, here you can specify the name, unique name, type as entity or generic. Let me select generic. Now, see the options. If I select entity, nothing happens over here. If I select generic, I have an option to select an anchor tab. Now, anchor tab is just, let's assume, say, one page, you know, which has all the information. So, by default, popular anchor tab is customer summary, which lists down the customer details. So, that will be the customer tab, uh, customer summary as an anchor tab. Session icon, I can pick up any icon which is available within the web resources. Let me pick up any icon and put a description and I can save this and I can put agent scripts over here once I add those in the session template. So I'll not create a new session template. I've already created one session template, which I'll show you uh, somewhere I created. Let me see. Yes, so this is the one which I created uh, earlier, Girish chat session template. So it has a chat session template type generic, customer name as a title. Let me put title as, uh, let's see, Girish area or something like that, okay? Uh, and it is docked. Session icon is access checker icon. Anchor tab is customer summary and I've added additional tabs, okay? Knowledge search, quick reply. Let me add additional tab knowledge search is there quick reply is there let me put a search as well okay now these are predefined tab which gets you know like created once the session is triggered and i have agent scripts over here check admin rights i can add existing agent scripts let me add existing agent script as say for customer service portal issue add it save save and close now this is my chat session template okay uh, let me open this and keep it to show you how it impacts the entire session okay so let me go as an uh, a user okay let me copy this and let me close this chat and let me close this and let me have that conversation started okay so i'm in a website uh, and then the website will show me the chat window. It will ask me for some information. I'll just submit this and it will connect to the live agent. Now here, as only channel for customer service, now you will come to know where we have exactly configured the session templates, okay? Now, remember, like this particular chat, okay? So let me show you how to assign a session template to a, uh, say, channel, okay? So if you see this chat channel, I'm going to manage. Here you can see the chat, which I have already configured. And let me accept this request, okay. Now the chat has been accepted. And if you see over here, this is the session template. This entire screen is the session template. Okay, This entire screen is the session template. Now, it is classified into multiple sections. Now, one is this is the communication panel. These is the anchor tab. And these are the additional tabs. Okay. Now, if you see here, uh, let me go to the workspaces and the session template, which I have created. This is the one okay now here if you see there are uh, things which we have already created over here so there is a uh, knowledge search quick reply okay and anchor tab is customer summary anchor tab is customer summary quick reply 
knowledge article search okay and uh, the changes which we have made is not yet reflected if this is reflected then we could have seen search as well okay agent script check admin right for customer service portal issue this is the one we added later so this may not be available but let's see whether the check admin rights is available or not we can go over here and you can see check admin right and for customer service portal issue so all these things are available okay so i can see the agent scripts being made available now let me do some chat okay. and i can also for a customer and let's say this is in customer abraham okay then this particular section will be changed to say abraham okay now this is basically a title you know and the title will be uh, shown based on the contact details now this is about you know like the session template now how do you assign a session template to a uh, say a channel you know so if we go to say say work stream okay here I have this work stream, Giri chat work stream, which is attached to this particular channel. Okay, and I can see all the advanced settings over here. Now, if you see under this work stream, I have Giri chat session template attached to it. Now I can edit it and I can say, I don't want this, I want something else. I can select that as well. Okay, so this is how you attach a session template to a work stream. Okay. And uh, this is how you get this information. You know, um, this is basically a session template. Session template has, you can configure the agent scripts, what you want to display over here. You can configure what tab, additional tab you want to see. You can configure what anchor tab you want. And you can configure some aspect of communication panel. Now this communication panel has always come expanded. If you want this to be minimized like this, or maybe uh, hidden, that also you can configure using the session template. Now, remember, uh, again, going back to the workspace session template, open query chat session template. Now the communication panel, if you see here, this is docked, okay? We can make it hidden, we can make it minimized. So all these things can be configured over here as well. So that's it for this is all about session templates, sessions configuration within the Dynamics 365 customer service omnichannel application. Thanks for watching.